Hello everyone, welcome to Desert Succulent. Today we're gonna be featuring a beautiful looking succulent and it's called the Echeveria Chrissy and Ryan. This kind of succulent is a hybrid between our Echeveria prolifica and the Echeveria citosa variety Deminuta. This kind of hybrid was created in the United Kingdom. Yung kanilang leaves are fleshy and it will be giving you this compact looking reset and sa pinakadulo ng kanyang leaves you would see those parang tips. The color ng kanyang leaves would be gray green pero with long exposure to the direct sun or yung ating full sun exposure they tend to have a beautiful pink shade especially nga along sa kanyang edges of the leaves or sa kanyang mga leaf margins. What's interesting about this succulent is the way yung kanyang leaves would change depending now on the temperatures. Usually, ganito yung kanyang itsura if it's not fully stressed na parang greenish lang talaga siya. But if we go towards the end of the year na medyo lumalamig na yung ating panahon, we would be expecting some pinkish na color sa kanyang mga leaves. They are also covered with uh, farina kaya yung kanyang leaves are parang whitish in color. Up close, may nakikita tayong parang white hairs lining its leaves and probably nakuha niya ito sa kanyang parent which is the Echeveria citosa na may ganito rin siya along its leaf margins or sa kanyang leaves. It is best if you will be growing these outdoors for us to appreciate nga yung kanyang sun stress na color you would notice na in some parts nung kanyang leaves, nagiging pinkish na siya. And this would be more vibrant if we will constantly expose it to the sun. In addition to the pinkish na leaf margins, you would also notice na the color nung kanyang stems would be pinkish as well. Kaya if you wanted your succulent to be compact looking like this, then you have to provide more sun exposure sa kanila. Probably about 4 to 6 hours of full sunlight or direct sunlight would be best for their growth. Watering our Chris and Ryan is the same as with other succulents. I'm using yung ating soak and dry method way of watering. So this particular succulent is nakalagay sa ating rain or shine area and if it rains, hindi natin ma-avoid na some of the water would collect here sa kanyang pinakaroset and what we can do is try to remove it as soon as possible kasi if hinayaan natin siya dyan for a long period of time, it can cause yung ating crown rot or mabubulok siya or possibly it can also cause yung ating sunburn as yung ating mga water droplets na naiwan dyan would magnify yung ating sun causing nga yung ating leaf burns. Choosing the right potting mix for our Chris and Ryan is also very important. Dapat well draining siya and at the same time, it contains yung ating mga nutrients. This one is yung ating loam soil. And what I like most about this one is that I would easily know or determine if talagang nag-dry na yung ating pinaka-soil. Kasi itong ating mga loam soil, pag tuyo sila, sobrang lightweight nila. But if you will be watering this and it's fully soaked, you would really feel na mabigat siya as compared pag tuyong-tuyo siya na madali mo lang siyang i-lift like this. Usually, I use two different pot size for my succulents. This one is 4.5, yung kanyang diameter. And the other one, ito yung mas malaki is yung ating 6.5 diameter. And itong size na to is just perfect for my succulents. Ayan, you could easily assess na yung ating soil mix na ginamit dito is also well draining naman. And we can just remove itong ating mga dried leaves na ito before we repot. You have a choice if you wanted to remove yung kanyang old soil but for me, I just really prefer na iripat na lang siya directly. Mas maganda yung growth ng aking mga succulents kasi nga hindi na sila mahirapang mag-adjust. Pag in kasi natin ito at tinanggal natin yung kanyang old soil, it will take time for our succulent to adjust again. Kaya I usually don't do that way. I just simply make use of this method of repotting my succulents. We are finally done repotting and what's nice with this kind of method way of repotting is that pwede na natin siyang ilagay doon sa area kung saan siya galing. So for example, nakalagay siya sa ating full sun area, then we can immediately introduce it to the full sun area agad-agad. We don't need na ilagay siya sa isang bright shaded area for the next coming days. We can also water these and fully soak it without worrying about rot. 
you won't be having any problem with propagating itong succulent na to kasi sobrang bilis nilang magpadami and these will be giving you a lot of offsets sa pinakababa. The way on how they produces their offsets is also similar sa kanyang parent which is nga yung ating prolifica. You would notice na yung kanyang mga new offsets would be at the tip nitong ating mga stalks or stems which is expected kasi ito nga yung isa sa kanyang parent. Ayan, we would be expecting na magiging ganito yung color ng ating mga Chrissy and Ryan one stress, you would see na yung arrangement ng kanilang rosette is similar. Even the shape ng kanilang leaves are the same. Except that itong ating mga Chris and Ryan, mas malalaki yung kanilang rosettes as compared sa kanyang parent which is the prolifica. Another way of propagating this is through their leaves. So we can just simply remove this one. Ayan. Mabilis lang magtanggal ng leaves nitong ating mga Chris and Ryan. You can just twist it like that. And there you go, you have a uh, leaf propagation. We can also try some stem cutting sa kanya. And today, I'm gonna be cutting three of them. We need to remove itong mga leaves na ito muna. Ayan. Then, ayan. pwede rin natin ipropagate itong mga leaves na to. Then, we can just simply cut. Itong mga maliliit na offsets, we won't be cutting it. And hayaan lang natin siyang lumaki. Yeah, so we were able to get three cuttings dito nga sa ating mother, Crazy and Ryan. And what I'm gonna be doing is itatanim na natin siya agad here. Usually, we need to air dry itong mga ito and wait for at least five or seven days. But if yung inyong soil or yung inyong medium is dry naman, you can simply plant it. So, itutusok lang natin siya dyan para in time it will grow and fill in entirely itong ating pinaka pot. Ayan. So, ganyan lang kabilis i-propagate itong ating mga Chris and Ryan. Pinaghiwa-hiwalay ko sila para in time magkakaroon rin sila ng sarili nilang offsets and they can fill itong ating pot entirely. So, it's the same thing that I did dito nga sa ating prolifica before. Kinalat-kalat ko lang siya and look at it now. Almost makover niya na nga entirely yung ating pinakapat. Probably here, magkakaroon pa siya ng offsets. Probably in the next coming months, yung ating Chris and Ryan would also look this way na parang clump siya. It's really nice to look at. And we are also expecting na ganun ang mangyayari dito sa ating Chrissy and Ryan. For some maintenance, we need to check for some common pests sa kanila. If there are some existing fungal infections, we can also treat them. And we are using the Toragi Blue Broad Spectrum Fungicide. That's all for our Chrissy and Ryan. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You may also visit our Facebook page at Desert Succulent PH.